Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope and pray that everybody is doing well and blessed on this day, brothers and sisters. God is so good, and so many things are happening in the world right now. Brothers and sisters, I have this news app, and I get all kind of the latest breaking news, and I'm getting news coming in. Israel begins retaliatory strikes against Iran following missile barrage. Hurricane watchers issue warning of storm Patty that could hit the U.S., and that is supposed to be headed toward Florida. Brothers and sisters, all these things, all these things, brothers and sisters, that are happening. Costco recalls chicken products over listeria. Brothers and sisters, all these things, all these news reports that are coming in of everything that is happening. God knows that we are at the end of days. We are literally at the end of days. And the rapture of the church is upon us. There's no need to be afraid. No need to fear. We have, we have to rejoice and be glad. Be glad. Because we are going to be getting out of this wicked world once and for all. One day if we're ready. If we are ready. Only those who are ready who have surrendered and given our lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. All these news reports that are coming in lets us know that we are in the last days and that perilous times are here right now. That the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back for his church, for his bride, who is without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. And the rapture is upon us. You can't duck your head in the sand and hide and pretend like it won't happen because that won't stop it. It is going to happen. As the word of God clearly states, and this is breaking news, brothers and sisters. My God, Israel begins retaliatory strikes against Iran. It is like the world is being destroyed right before our very eyes. And I do believe we are in World War III. They just haven't confirmed it. But I believe it is here. And this lets us know what time it is that we are in the season of the return of Jesus, not to walk this earth right now, but to rapture his church. He's coming back for his bride. And we have to meet him in the air those of us who are ready. And those of us who are not ready will be left behind to face the great tribulation, which is going to come, and it will come, brothers and sisters, great tribulation upon this earth. And you do not want to be here for that. So if I were you, if you are not yet saved, meaning you have not given your life to the Lord, you have not repented of your sins. You have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I would do it today. Today, while you still have air in your lungs, while you're still alive and breathing. Because tomorrow is not promised. Anything can happen. Anything is liable to happen at any moment. Tomorrow is not promised to any of us. All these talks of war and things going on, anything can happen. United States is not exempt from them doing something to our country, let me tell you. And it, it's going to get worse, and it's going to get worse quickly, so we have to be ready. And don't be afraid. Don't fear. Absolutely do not fear. If you're in the Lord, if you trust the Lord Jesus Christ, don't be afraid. The word of God tells us to look up because our redemption draweth nigh. We have something to look forward to. 
Yes, there's something better than this place here that we're in. There's something better than this world God has in store for us. And we have something to look forward to if we're in the Lord, if we're saved. Yes, we can rejoice. And 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18 says that we shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Comfort one another with these words. Yes, we can comfort one another because it's something to look forward to. Don't you see? Hallelujah. This is not it. There's something better than this we have to go to if we're ready, if we're living for the Lord. Brothers and sisters, I get so tired. I want to just vent a little bit, if I may that people come on my channel and talk about that there is no rapture. There is no rapture, all kind of wicked comments and negative comments, but that's okay. I pray for you, those of you who do not believe, but you need to read the word of God for yourself to know the truth. Read the Bible. Don't come on here talking to me any kind of way saying that there's no rapture, that I don't know what I'm talking about, that there's no such thing as a rapture. The rapture is not in the Bible. Brothers and sisters, I've heard it all. I get so tired of people telling me this, that it's it's not, <laughs> that there's no rapture. Study the word of God. I will tell you that there is a rapture. There is such thing as a rapture, and it happened before. Yes, it did. It happened to two men in the Bible, in the Old Testament. Two men were raptured. So don't tell me there was no such thing as a rapture, but this time it's going to be for all people who are ready, not just two. It will be for all people who are ready for the bride of Christ. And these two people are Enoch and Elijah. They were taken up while they were still alive, raptured, caught up suddenly. You have to know the truth by reading the word of God. This can be found in the Old Testament. Enoch was taken. This was found, as can be found in Genesis chapter 5 and verse 24. Enoch was taken. And the word of God states that Enoch walked with God and was not, for God took him. God took him just like that. He was not passed away. He was still alive. God took him. Just like many people, it's similar to the rapture because many people, we will be alive and God will take us up. He will take us up. And we will be caught up as the word of God clearly states in 1 Thessalonians. Read it. Chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. It's in the word of God. You And you can't just believe some of the Bible and not the rest of it. If you're going to believe it, you have to believe all of it. From Genesis to Revelation. You have to believe it all. Okay? And it's just like what's going to happen in the year 2024, whenever the rapture happens, if it's this year or next year, or whenever, that the rapture will happen as it did back in those days in the book of Genesis. Also in the book of Kings, 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse 11. Please read these scriptures for yourself and study it. Go back and read it. Get yourself a Bible, King James Study Bible with a concordance in it, and you will know, and you will be able to study it and know the truth and, and learn. Don't just come on here saying there's no rapture, and I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm giving you the word of God, okay? I'm not making anything up. And if you don't want to believe it, then don't believe it. You'll be left here. You don't have to believe me. Believe Jesus, believe the word of God. I'm just a messenger. Okay, and that can be found in 2 Kings chapter 2 at verse 11, where it talks about Elijah. 
taken up in a whirlwind. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You can go back and read it. You can't be always, brothers and sisters, those of you who don't believe, spoon-fed every little thing. You want to be spoon-fed. It's time to come off of milk and get in the word for yourself and, and get on adult food, not baby food anymore. You want me to sit and spoon feed everything to you? I'm telling you where the scriptures are. Go back and read it for yourself. Elijah was taken up in a world when these are two people, Elijah and Enoch, were taken while they were still alive on the earth. So if God did it back then for those two people, he's going to do it again for the church, for the body of Christ, for his bride the bride of Christ who is ready without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. We must be ready like a woman is ready for her wedding day. We have to be ready and stay ready, except we don't know when it's going to be. So that's why we have to stay ready. Stay ready and, and, and prayed up, stay without sin. That's what the Bible means when it say without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. Don't go back to sin. If you sin, you will have blemish. You will have a blemish. If you're not living right, that's a blemish. Jesus Christ paid the price for us. He gave us a way of escape. It's up for us to take it and don't fall back into that sin. Okay? We have to live for the Lord once we are saved. Not live for the world, but we must live for the, the Lord and walk the straight and the narrow path as the word of God clearly states that we must do brothers and sisters. So there were two men that were taken, that were caught up and those two men are Enoch and Elijah. And that can be found in Genesis chapter five and verse 24 and second Kings chapter two and verse 11. Please read it for yourself, okay? And it's going to happen again. We just don't know when, but it looks it's looking like it could be close. And no man knows the day nor the hour. But brothers and sisters, it is going to be close. It's going to be soon. With everything that's happening, can't you see what's happening? How much more can the world go on like this? You think it's just going to go on and it's just going to go back to normal? No, normal is not coming back. But Jesus is coming back. And we will be taken out of this wicked world because it's too evil. It's too much. Too much is going on. This world is going to be given over to Satan and it's happening now. Don't you see? It's happening now. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. Everything to say, he's going to get it for a certain amount of time, a period of seven years during the great tribulation. It's going to be run by the devil because the church will be removed. The Holy Spirit will be removed and God help those who are left behind because it will be pure evil rampant upon this earth. And if you think it's bad now, this is nothing compared to the great tribulation, which is to come. So I just wanted to come and tell you that there are two people that were taken. So don't come saying there's no rapture. Read the word for yourself because that lets me know that you're not, you're not familiar with the word of God when you come and say those things, that there's no rapture. You sound uneducated. You have to educate yourself. Study to show yourself approved so you will know the truth. Go deep in the word of God. There are layers to it. You have to go deep into the word of God, not just surface and, and just go deep into the word of God. Let the Lord speak to you to reveal what these things mean. Because see, his thoughts are not like our thoughts. His thoughts are higher than us, than our thoughts. You see? So it is true. It is true. And I believe it. It is true because God does not lie. He is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent, but his word is true. He is the truth. Okay, and I hope that you all are ready because what is to come upon this earth, it will be total destruction and evil. 
And these wars are ramping up. Things are ramping up. Things are moving quickly now. Yes, a lot is happening. So we have to be ready, okay? So I just wanted to come and give you the, that word. And I hope and pray that everybody's doing well. I really do. I want to pray for everybody. I pray for you all. I really and truly do because I know people need prayer. So many people are going through so many things. You know, a lot of people are really going through it, through passing away of loved ones, children, even young people leaving this earth. So many young people are leaving this earth through tragedies, through all kind of manner of wickedness and unaliving and even through addictions and all manner of sin and iniquity running rampant. And it's taking people out, taking people out before their time. And it is awful. So I pray for you all, anybody who's going through anything, I'm praying for you. I pray for you all. And I thank you for your love and your support of this channel. You are welcome here. You are welcome here. And you know I will be praying for you. I pray for all my subscribers, anyone who watches, follows, shares the video, and supports this channel. I keep you all in prayer. And I pray for my enemies too. Those who hate me and don't love me and don't like me, I pray for you too. And I forgive you. I forgive you. I really do because I know it's not you. It's the enemy working in the person, in the people that are doing evil. So I know that. And I forgive you all. I forgive. Okay. So that's all I have for now. And if anything else comes up, if it be the Lord's will, if it's the Lord's will, not my will, but if it's the Lord's will, that I come back on because things can happen. Anything can happen. We are at the end of days. The Lord can come any moment, any second, any time now. Yes, everything is lining up with the Bible. So that's why I say if it is the Lord's will, because we don't know if we'll be here tomorrow. We don't know anything. We have to trust in the Lord now. Totally. For our very next breath, we have to trust in the Lord to give us oxygen to breathe, to give us food to eat, to give us a roof over our head, to give us money to pay our bills. We have to depend on the Lord for everything. You know why? Because he's our source. He is our source of everything that we need. We are in the last days and we have to depend on Jesus for every little thing, everything. Okay, so we have to be... <laughs> Just depend on Jesus and he'll never let us down. Okay, brothers and sisters, I will let you all go. It is getting late where I am. So I'm going to get ready and go and lay down and get some rest. Okay, so you all have a blessed day, night or evening, whatever time it is that you find this video. And I will try to get this video out to you all. Okay. So have a blessed day until we talk again. If it's the Lord's will, be blessed, stay encouraged, look up, and hold on to the Lord Jesus Christ in these last days, okay? And you be blessed. And remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. God bless, and God bless. Bye-bye.